What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dawson from DD TV. Thanks for rating, commenting, and subscribing, and for clicking on the video. Let's go ahead and get into this story. This story is coming from up north and where I got family at, up in Lillington, uh, North Carolina. And it's of this beautiful young lady right here, 18 year old Brianna Chantel Green. Now, Brianna Chantel Green was stabbed to death by her ex boyfriend, 22 year old Sherrod Anthony Ford. Mr. Ford here was upset that Brianna decided to go on with her life and she did not want anything else to do with him. So he proceeded to come to her house, break in the house, and then attack her while she was there with her mother and her sister and proceeded to stab her multiple times with a sharp tool. Now I'm going to let y'all watch this video and we're going to talk in depth about these relationships. Harnett County deputies say a man stabbed his ex-girlfriend to death in her bedroom. The Harnett County Sheriff's Office says 22-year-old Sherrod Ford stabbed 18-year-old Brianna Green several times with a hand tool. Investigators say Ford broke into the home on, in Lillington on Highway 27 around 2.45 this morning. The victim's mother ran to get help from a neighbor. Deputies say the neighbor saw Ford stabbing the victim and fired his gun through the window. When the suspect ran, the neighbor fired again as deputies arrived. Deputies arrested Ford and took him to a hospital for a leg injury. Ford is charged with first-degree murder and burglary. The sheriff's office says a deputy responded to the home hours before that stabbing. Green told the deputy that Ford tapped on her window and refused to leave before eventually taking off. CBS North Carolina's A.J. Janival live at the Harnett County Jail tonight where Ford is being held. A.J. Hey, Justin. Brianna Green was a high school student that had big plans, her sisters tell me, and a whole life ahead of her. Now, that life has been cut short, and those two sisters have had a big part of their lives stolen from them. He had, had my sister pinned up against the wall, and he had her like the head trimmer close to her stomach. Shattered pieces of glass still cover the front stairs of 18-year-old Brianna Green's home. Law enforcement says 22-year-old Sherrod Ford murdered Green early Saturday morning. The two used to date. Green's younger sister Kiara tells me she and her mom were able to escape the house to try and find help. When they came back, Ford was surrounded by police. I told my mom, he said, I'm sorry, but it's too late. It's too late. And my mom, all my mom could say was bye. Bye. Now, 16-year-old Kiara and her sister, 17-year-old Destiny, will have to move on without their older sister. They tell me she was the most amazing person who put a smile on the face of everyone she met. The sisters say they have to be strong for Brianna. She don't ever want to see us weak and down and depressed because then that would make her feel like she wasn't doing her job as an older sister. However, Brianna Green was more than just an older sister. She was a mother. Her sisters tell me her baby just turned one earlier this month. Kiara and Destiny say nothing was more important to their older sister than that little boy. They say she may be gone, but their sister will always live on in all of their hearts. I miss my sister. Ford has been charged with murder as well as burglary. He's being held here behind me without bond. I spoke with Harney County officials a little while ago. They say that he will have his first court appearance early Monday morning. We'll make sure to keep you up to date as this story develops online as well with our mobile app. Reporting live here in Harney County, I'm AJ Janivel for CBS North Carolina. All right. Let's go in, y'all. First of all, I want to give my condolences out to the family and friends of Brianna Chantel Green, as well as her little baby, her little boy. She does have a little boy who's going to have to grow up without his mother. Uh, the little boy is currently with his father now, and, you know, I just wish them all the best with that because it is just a sad situation. Now, with this dude right here, uh, Sherrard Anthony Ford, he is charged with murder and with burglary. But the only regret I have in this situation is that I wish the neighbor would have had just a clear shot when he shot at him two times. Because you could have saved the taxpayers so much money if you just would have 
took him out right there when he was running in the field or when he was in the house. That's the only regret I have because I'm sick of doing these cases where innocent people die. People are burying their mamas. They're burying their children. They're burying their brothers and sisters all because of idiots like this, all because of these, these morons who run the street. They're super emotional and their only thing is to do is to kill. And when I looked on this dude's, uh, when I looked on Brianna's Facebook page and even people on Facebook who was posting about this, there were people who who said he just snapped he was not like this and it seems like he had uh, a vast array of friends because it was different people all different colors who were saying he was never like this what happened and I know some people say love makes you do things but look here you should never be that much in love that it caused you to kill somebody if you that crazy you don't need to fall in love just stay by yourself seriously because this little girl this girl has lost her life she, her baby has to grow up without a mother. Her mother and her sister have to relive the attack that you did to them. And now you're in prison and hopefully you will stay there for a long period of time if they don't seek the death penalty for you. Now, when I looked on Brianna Green's Facebook page, there were several, several different posts that she posted that stood out to me. A lot of them were about, you know, getting over uh, bad relationships, having people who were tr out to get her, uh, different things about people trying to get to attack her sisters. And a lot of stuff she was posting, it seemed like it was a cry for help. And many times when we have cases like this, and you can see it from the videos that I've done, all you have to do is go back and read some of the victims or some of the people who committed the crime, read their Facebook page or their social media, and it kind of tells you what was going on in their mind because everybody puts all their business on social media now. So you can basically kind of figure out like where their frame of mind was during this time. And to me, from what I've read from Brianna's post, it's almost like she wanted to start over again. Again, but she had barriers in her way. It's almost like she was trying to get it from around certain people and make a, her life better for her and her baby, but it was still stuff that was still trying to block her. And there were several posts that she posted about people trying to get her. I know they're out to get me. I know they're jealous of me. And it's just real sad because you would think at 18 years old, all this girl had to really think about was just, hey, okay, you had a baby. You got your mama. She's helping you out there with it or some other family members or friends, whoever. Now all you got to do is just, you know, keep going on in life. Do good in school. Finish school. Do what you got to do and go on. But when you have a 22 year old and I'm also concerned about that. This girl was 18. So she has a one year old. So she had to be pregnant around about like 17. Yeah, 17 or so. And this dude right here is 22 years old. I don't know what the laws are up in North Carolina with that, but I don't think no 22 year old should be going with no 18 year old or no 17 year old because I know people and when I was in high school there were girls who dated older I know people do that but that's just my that's just my thing right there I don't think this 22 year old boy should have been dating this 18 year old girl and messing around with her and I think she was still in high school. There are so many things that people put on social media and it explains a lot as to where their minds were, what was going on during the time of the crime. And it's just sad that Brianna was almost just begging for help. And there was something she posted that she wanted somebody just to talk to, somebody just to, to hug her, to, that she could cry to and that they wouldn't judge her and just let her be her. And it's just, it's real sad because there are so many people who put all their business on social media. And a lot of times the attention they get is not really what they want. What they need is real love, real friendships. And if you're seeking that on social media from for children, for grown people, a lot of the times it's not there. People will look at your life, know you need help and watch the train wreck. That's what will happen. People sometimes encourage it. That's the kind of world we live in. Humanity is basically, you know, uh, a love for humanity. People having a heartbeat for humanity or wanting to help others. Many times that is gone. People really don't care. They want to watch you self-destruct. That's why I'm such a big proponent of knowing who you are and loving yourself authentically without any outside people knowing who you are by yourself if you don't find a man if you don't find a woman nobody promised you a man and a woman and that's a mess you heard at the church you better know who you are okay because your husband might die your wife might die and I'm just being real they may walk away from you you got to know who you are people may decide they don't want to be with you what you gonna do then? You gonna leave? Is your life revolving around one man or some woman? 
That you got to kill them and take them out and not spend the rest of your life, you idiot, in jail? Y'all got to think, man. Y'all never let yourself go so far when it comes to relationships that you forget who you are. You never forget who you are. I don't care how good she looks. I don't care how good he looks. I don't care how good the sex is. No, forget that mess. You still got to deal with you. You always got to know who you are and you're the love for yourself come before any of that mess. Because you could have found another girlfriend, dude. You could have found somebody else. This story is sick. It's disgusting. And again, I hope they throw the book at this man, which they are. And I hope all the charges stick. And whatever happens, it needs to happen. Again, the only regret I have is that the neighbor didn't have a clear shot to shoot this nigga so we wouldn't have to go through this trial that we're going to have to go through. And taxpayers are going to have to pay their money for this. Women, men, if you're in a relationship and if somebody doesn't want to be with you anymore and they want to go, open the door and let them get the hell out. All right. Ain't no more killing nobody. Seriously. For what? You don't, all these people in the world, you can't find nobody else. All these people in the world, nobody else is going to love you. Matter of fact, if they don't love you, do you love yourself? You shouldn't get in a relationship if you don't love yourself because people manipulate you. They'll use you. They'll use you for everything you got and tell you everything you want to hear so they can get out of you what they want out of you and use you and leave you for dead. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Please in those comments on this. Y'all tell your friends about this show. You know, I'm just, I'm sick of this stuff, man. I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of this low self-esteem that runs rampant. Everybody on social media, but nobody don't love themselves. How the hell can you be on social media posting all these posts? You want everybody to see you, but when it comes to relationships, you are, your, your relationship life is a complete debacle. You can't make good relationships decisions to save your life. How is that? That goes for men and women. How is that? We can we know everything about everything, but when it comes to relationships and self-love and loving ourselves, we don't know nothing. A man can walk all over you, a woman can walk all over you. Some of y'all, some of y'all got it. <laughs> but for real, got to do better, man. Again, my condolences go out to this young lady's family and friends and to her little baby boy. Peace.